How did giraffes develop their long necks? Many people thought the giraffe was a hybrid between a leopard and a camel because of its long legs, long neck, and unusual spotted pattern, which is represented in its scientific name, Giraffa camelopardalis. Giraffes primarily inhabit savanna habitats in Africa's sub-Saharan region. Because of their extraordinary height, they can eat leaves and shoots that other animals cannot reach. They are especially interested in acacia trees. Their lengthy tongues aid in eating by assisting in the removal of leaves off trees. A full-grown giraffe consumes about 45 kilograms of leaves and twigs each day while spending the majority of the day eating. Antelope-like animals roamed Africa's arid plains around 15 million years ago. They were nothing extraordinary, but some of their necks were a little lengthy. They evolved into animals that looked like modern giraffes in just 6 million years, despite the fact that the modern species only appeared roughly 1 million years ago. A giraffe is the tallest living land animal, standing between 4.5 and 5 meters tall, with the neck accounting for over half of its height. Most people believe that giraffes' long necks evolved to aid them in feeding. The theory is that if you have a long neck, you can consume leaves on tall trees that your opponents can't reach. But there is another option. The enormous necks could have little to do with food and everything to do with sex. Surprisingly, the evidence for the high feeding idea is scant. Giraffes in South Africa spend a lot of time foraging for food high up in trees, but they don't appear to bother elsewhere in Africa, even when food is scarce. Giraffes have long necks, although there have been longer ones. Sauropod dinosaurs easily outnumber them. The dinosaur Mammonchosaurus, for example, had a neck over 9 meters long, which was four times the length of giraffe necks. Long necks come with a price. Because the brain of a giraffe is approximately 2 meters above the heart, the heart must be large and powerful. In fact, for blood to reach the brain, it must be pumped at the highest pressure ever recorded in an animal. That there must be a significant payback for keeping giraffe necks that long. The current explanation, which is surprising given biologists' obsession with it, is that long necks originated as a result of sexual selection, that is, they evolved in males as a means of competing for females. Male giraffes compete for females via necking. They stand next to each other and swing their heads into each other's ribs and legs. Their skulls are unusually thick, and they have horn-like growths called ossicones on the crowns of their heads to aid in this. In some, their skulls are battering rams capable of crushing their opponent's bones. A long and powerful neck would be an advantage in these duels, and it has been discovered that males with long necks tend to win, as do females. The necks for sex theory also explains why giraffes' necks are so much longer than their legs. If giraffes developed to reach higher branches, their legs should have lengthened at the same rate as their necks, but they haven't. 